First and foremost, we're, we're delighted to be here. We've been in America before, two years ago. We came to Houston. We enjoyed our stay very much. And uh, we arrived last night. We've trained last night and today. And uh, the facilities we've had have been excellent. We've been treated really well. And it's something which, uh, as I said, we've done two years ago. And it led to probably the, the best season ever I've had for many years. So as you can imagine, us, us coaches are, are quite superstitious in our preparation. And uh, we decided to come back to America again. And I'm hoping very much for the similar success what we had two years ago with our stay in, in uh, Columbus and then we move on to Dallas. So once again, thank you. Uh, if there's any questions anybody wants to answer, I'll be available. But uh, just to say, we're looking forward to the game and uh, hopefully we see a lot of supporters at the game tomorrow night to see many of the, the British and European players that we have in our squad. Kevin, the final training session before the first game. So, was you looking forward to getting some action now? Yeah, that's right. We had a long trip um, the other day over here, Monday night. Um, trained very well yesterday, so we're looking forward to the game now. We don't really know what to expect from Columbus Crew. I suppose it's a mixture here of it's an extension of the training, but it's a game that we'd like to win. Yeah, of course. We want to win the game, uh, and I'm sure that they're going to have um, a lot of experience in the team, so it's, it's going to be a tough game for us. Talking of Everton is travelling the world, there'll be some at the game here in America that they get everywhere, don't they? Yeah, definitely. They, they just show how much uh, and uh, how passionate they are towards this club and, and what it means to them. And, uh, you know, hopefully we show the same determination and passion when we play football on the pitch. So, um, you know, full respect to them and, and we'll hopefully make it worthwhile for their trip. Everybody's looking forward to the new season, Tim, aren't they? There's a, there's a smashing buzz about the place. <coughs> yeah, we've signed some great players, you know. Um, we're showing that we're, we're being ambitious and uh, we're spending a lot of money already. So uh, it shows how, how, how far the club's coming and uh, we want to mix it with the best. Like that ball's rolling, there's no passes a straight. Yes. There you are. We all know the rules. This morning session at the training ground, there was some there was some lovely football. You actually stopped it at one point to compliment the lads, didn't you? The players have been have been looking good, I've said that. I think that uh, they're in good spirits, good form. Uh, you know, they're they're really looking good. Uh, obviously it's pre-season training, it's difficult to judge exactly. But uh, what I see is that, that they're in good shape. We don't know an awful lot about Columbus Crew, do we, the team that we play tomorrow, but it's obviously it's a mixture of an extension of the training and, and a game that you want to win. Us. Yeah, it is, and you know, we've we've come over here and we're, we've popped in here to play the game in the way the way through before we go into Dallas. Uh, I do know that I don't think I've been beaten by, by an English side before and I've played one or two recently. So we know it'll be quite difficult. But uh, you know, they've got a mixed team and we all have a mixed team as well tomorrow night. So uh, we'll see how it goes and I'm going to try and get as many players a game as I can. Ortiz. 45 yards away from goal, down to the left channel, Rosenthal, the Chilean, looking, a good feed to Ward, down with a byline, intersects the 18, it's chipped back out, 22 yards away, Kamara Hendrickson shoots, right foot strike, missing everything. Two fans earlier this afternoon, right Columbus, with Columbus, with some congestion, well the youngsters, looking to make a name for himself on this year's club. Fed to the center of the park, 22 yards out. Rosenthal shot, one nil to the crew. Sebastian <laughs> Rosenthal, the native Chilean, bearing it from 22 yards off the right slot, giving Columbus a one nothing lead. Indirect, it's played to Neville, back to Lescott, and played across the way to the right side to Hibbert. And to shake up Zatella, does nicely into the 18. Centers, Kenny Hill will float one right in the air off the right toe, up over the crossbar, and coming right down the top of the net. To Kamara, wasn't happy with the back pass by Kamara, back to Marshall, and then Marshall gave it up. And now Kilbane on the attack, off the left flank. Feed center of the park, Delron Buckley. Into the right side, a shot, 1-1, one, one. we're even. And each of be. From the right side of the 18 on the giveaway by Marshall that set up a three on two counter attack. And Everton draws equal here in minute 34. Lasme. The throw in by Ward. Look at the center of the park. Took a couple of bounces. Fortuitously for Everton. And now set up. And it needs to be again. Will shoot. And just missed the near post. Almost the exact same spot where it just struck a moment ago. And Columbus right now making some vital mistakes. First in the final third, then in the mid third. One touch back to the halfway line. 
little chip by Ward is ahead of the Rosenthal. Gary will take the shot as he turns from 22 yards away and a floating left-footed strike that missed the upper 90 on the right side. Bill Bain heading it alongside off the left slot. Oh, a, de a dead giveaway to Anichabi will shoot. Gaudette recovers. Sliding in front of the six. I guess he didn't think Anichabi was in the area. Lost. Ahead to Gary, back pass to Rosenthal on the attack, on the dribble over midfield. Flicking one out, right side, 18, Gary shoots! And missing off the right side. Into the mid third to Moss. Tried to spin and serve it up. And Arteta blocked it down, got it back. Back heels it beautifully, Kilbane. Left point of the 18, flicks it in, headed, and over the crossbar, and just on top of the netting. Nice looking attack there by Everton. As Arteta has been very effective in his minutes in the second half. And ahead to Arteta. In the circle, center side, now played up ahead. Here's Buckley, right side of the 18. Left-footed shot, bending. And out over everything. Back for a Columbus goal Columbus kick. Go. Ohio Riverside. Fans, the crew in South Campus Gateway have partnered. Just start off, how was that? Uh, it was okay. It was, you know, obviously I only played up till half time, but it was, you know, it was pretty warm up there. Um, you know, the humidity is, um, is can be quite difficult. Um, but you know, it's, it was another good run out. You know, not not that it's probably the result that, that we want, but you know, we're stepping in the right direction. You know, it's all about gearing towards uh, the disco. <laughs> but um, no, it's all about gearing towards obviously, you know, the first game of the season, Watford and. You know, I, I feel as if we're doing that quite nicely, to be honest. That was a nice game of football, that wasn't it? It was a good game. It was, uh, it was competitive. Uh, referee let plenty of challenges go, which I was pleased about, and it was good for everybody. So it was, it was, uh, it was a good game, and uh, you know, we played quite well actually. I was pleased with the way we played, probably more so in the first half than the second half. But uh, overall, it was good. It, it, that happens in the second half, doesn't it? The, the pattern of the game goes a little bit because you want to give more players a touch of the ball. Yeah, I think that it happened a little bit. Wanted everybody to get a game, and you know, we should have we should have probably won. You know, with enough chances in both the first half and the second half. And then in the last 15, 20 minutes, you know, their fitness was better than ours, and uh, you know they started to get a wee bit more of the game at that period. But uh, no, I was pleased with the players again, and uh, you know, it's another step forward. Lots of things though we have to do to be better, but uh, overall pleased. Things seem to be going well, both on and off the pitch. Excellent facilities and uh, the hotel is magnificent, and the lads, the lads are really enjoying themselves. And everyone seems to be uh, staying fit. And you know, even though we've got a few blisters and stuff, they're all minor injuries. And uh, you know, everyone's everything seems to be going our way at the moment. Obviously, throughout your career, you've had plenty of success. What with Manchester United, does a good pre-season help achieve that success? Vital, vital. I think the uh, the base for the whole season is is, is setting uh, the pre-season work. And you know, last year, by all accounts, of the pre-season was a li li little bit stop-start with players coming in and out. So uh, this year, we seem to have been more settled, and you can tell that in the training. Everyone's training every day, and, and the, the performances are, I think, are, are as good as ever. Johnson does one in the first header. Has the strength to win the ball on the ground. Davis to McFadden. Good play by McFadden. Good footwork. Does can it keep hold of the ball? He's Muscled his way through. Great play by McFadden. What a run by James McFadden. <laughs> the opponents are wearing. Will we get an exact replica? Yes, we will. What a goal! Mikel Arteta weaves his magic with his right foot. And he is absolute dynamite from that distance. And that's a truly magnificent goal from a truly wonderful football player. You just knew it, didn't you? Mikel Arteta. 25 yards out, two steps forward, bang! Simon Davis, looking after the ball, it's a tremendous ball. Headed in field by Gary Naismith. McFadden's there! Oh, great save by Navarrete. What a move that was from Everton. Simon Davis with a pitch of a ball. Flick in field first time by Naismith. And James McFadden almost got Oh, another loose 
clearance by Rodriguez. Good play by Andy Johnson. Good first time ball from Davis. McFadden can he turn? Can he get support? Keeps possession well. Flicks a lovely ball right to Simon Davis. Early cross comes in. It just beats Andy Johnson. Arteta hits a goal and it's just over. He wants a corner and he's going to get one. Good play again from Everton. Simon Davis once again at the heart of it. Oh, look at Lopez. Plenty of space. Three Neville and Joseph Yobo not on the same wavelength. The cross comes in. Gary Nesbitt pushing his man. He's got a penalty. No play on. Ruff passes inside the penalty area. Parsley hacks it clear. Everton momentarily struggling. Great shot. Great save. Rockass is there. And Rockass is put away. Flags up anyway on this near side. It was a very late flag. Gary Nesbitt telling him on this near side there were two men offside. An earlier substitution. Buckley wins it. James Beattie, good play. Buckley, Arteta. Oh, brilliant from Everton. Needs a great ball from Beattie. Gets it to Kevin Kilburn. Oh, he skies it at the last. What a move between Arteta, Buckley, and Beattie. Wonderful play. Short, sharp, crisp. <laughs> Gets the volley, twice blocked by Alan Stokes, then Kilbane tries to bring it away. Everton's got more defending to do. Cuevas brings it in, right-footed Cuevas, there it is! There's the spin of the tail. Be up for this right footed James Beatty scores again. Now they've missed the move. So what's wrong with that? Wrong side of the goal. Right, real chance for Whitey to make a name for himself. Here's Infante right footed. Sends it to right Next up for Everton is Mikel Arteta. Here's Mikel Arteta right footed. Oh, collision. to move and slots it into the bottom corner. Club America, Richard Wright trying to put him off, but he also puts it the same way. Here comes Alan Stokes, right foot. Oh, he's hit the crossbar! Alan Stokes has hit the crossbar. And it's a match hit, Club America. The first two have gone to Richard Wright's right. What can he do with this one? In the bottom corner. Gets the indication. Here's Pistone. Good goal, Alessandro Pistone. Gets a round of applause from his teammates. So Skade is taking the longest run up of the night so far. Will he whack it down the middle? Richard Wright goes the right way, but couldn't keep it out. Kevin Kilban versus Armando Navarrete. Kilban scores. Good penalty. Salvador Cabanas versus Richard Wright. In it goes. Game over. Five-four. Penalty kick. A bit of drama to end with. A little bit of excitement. There were far more positives than negatives though tonight, weren't there? I thought, you know, coming on in the second half, uh, watching the first half, I thought the lads were absolutely tremendous, especially in the heat out there. It's 95 degrees. You know, at 10 o'clock at night. Um, and it's a shock to our system. We've been we've been in America now for you know a few days, uh, but obviously never experienced anything like this. It's uh, it's great uh, you know if you're sunbathing, but not like if you're running around. But you know it's, it's it was a, a great experience, and hopefully it all stands us in good stead for when we get back to the freezing weather in England. Julian, that was a bit unfortunate. We didn't deserve to lose that, did we? Overall, oh no, I thought the boys did well. To be fair, in the heat and the conditions and that, we adapted well. So. Uh... Overall, we were pleased with the performance. Could you feel the heat out there? Even though when it was dark, it was still warm, wasn't it? Yeah, even like going down the tunnel, it's not so much the heat, the humidity, and that. It's just like someone's got a hair dryer on your face permanently, <laughs> so it's pretty hard. But as I say, we adapted pretty well, and then hope you can use that. And now, and when we get back to the UK, then we'll benefit from it. Last full day of the American tour, David, and uh, I would suggest it's gone very well. Yeah, it's been excellent. The players have worked really hard. You know, they're in good shape. You know, everybody's just a bit there. Maybe three or four. We just want to do a little bit more work with them. 
over the next week or two. Uh, but overall, you know, we're pleased with the way things have gone. And the two games, if we can just briefly wrap them up, you, you must be delighted, particularly with the second game. The players played really well in the second game. Uh, in fact, uh, you know, it was as good as we played for, for quite a while and uh, they enjoyed it. Unfortunately, we lost a goal in the 92nd or 93rd minute, but uh, it wasn't the important thing. The, the part was the players look, look in good shape. And, it, you know, the heat here is, is intense for them and their fitness looked quite good as well. Only maybe in the last 15, 20 minutes did we, we come off it a little bit. Over here, there's been a few travelling toffees come to watch the team playing Columbus and Dallas. You know as well yeah. as anyone on the squad uh, just how mad they are, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. You know, we've got a unique set of fans. Um, fans who are always right behind us, want the best for the team and want us to be in a in a position where they feel we belong, you know, and um, they've got every every right to, to be like that. Um, we Probably over the last few years we've been a bit up and down. Um, now we're, we're looking to try and get a consistency into our league form where we're always going to be a top 10, top 6 team. And that's what we've got to strive for. And there's definitely signs of us of us doing that. Mm. You know, p potential wise, we've got a really good squad of a mix of well, there's a lot more youth in the team now, mm. and we've got that mix of of experience and all which which you need. And um, this, um, um, I think, as a group, we're really looking forward to the season. The boys have really put a shift in since they got over here to America. Haven't they? The heat has been relenting. Hasn't yeah, it? it's been really hard, you know. But like the boys have been like training like twice a day, and we've had like two like games and that. And uh, I feel like the games have gone well, and uh, I feel like the gaffer's happy with like the fitness. So uh, we're on like track at the moment. Uh, the boys are just looking forward to like the first game of the season. Now. The game against Club America. Some of the football we played, particularly in the first half, was outstanding. Yeah, it? it was tremendous. Like I think I think Ozzy said like it's probably the best like he's seen on like, the team play for like a long time. You know, uh, like the football was brilliant. Uh, the movement was good. Obviously, like they like kept to the ball for like patches, but. When we actually got the ball, like we hurt them, we like went like forward, and uh, we probably could have beaten two or three. Finally, it's been a decent pre-season so far. Only Celtic have beaten us, and, and we didn't deserve to lose that. We'd have settled for that, wouldn't we? Yeah, it's been brilliant. Yeah, it's like uh, the uh, results have gone good. Do you know what I mean? We've not obviously like we're not we've we've not scored as many goals as like we'd uh, like to. But like I say, like you don't want to be scoring too many goals pre-season and then like struggle like the first game of the season. So uh, hopefully the boys are like sa saving that for like Watford, and uh, I'm I'm like sure things will be fine. The last full day of the American tour, Alan. I think everybody's just about ready to go home now. Yeah, we are. Um, you know, it's obviously been really hot here, and you know the training's been difficult. But you know, you can only yeah, do so much, and I think we've probably covered everything to be honest. And you know, probably the boys now are looking forward to getting home.